to dive and hold her breath, and also meeting her Aunt Pokey. So that was a big deal for her this week. So again, it's going to be a very slow process, so keep an eye on her social media pages, though, to keep up on her progress. And right now, for you, though, we have our trainer, Lynn, as well as our big guy, Dallas. So many of you have been here before. Dallas is big every year like this. Dallas just, just hit 20 years old this year. He has been with us since this exhibit opened. So he's been with us for about 15 years now. And Lynn and I have both been with him 15 years, so we're kind of everybody's longest relationship. So since Dallas has been with us, he's learned a bunch of different behaviors. Some of them look like really fun tricks, but all of them are so we can take better care of him. Obviously, we share space directly with him, and he is very large. How much do you guys think he weighs right now? Did you say 25 pounds? 920. So he is way more than 920. He is somewhere over 1,000 pounds right now. Um, we don't know the exact number because the scale is currently inside of Mama Baby, so that's off limits. But definitely he is over 1,000 pounds. So the reason that Dallas gets this big in the summer is he bulks up all winter long like the rest of us here in Buffalo, only he is supposed to be this big going into the summer, and he wants to be this big going into the summer. Because for Dallas, it's sea lion breeding season, so he wants to be the biggest, baddest guy on the beach and fend off any other males and defend his girlfriend, all of us, including Jesse and Pokey. But there's no males for him to fight off here, but he still goes through all those changes. So he gains all this weight. He gets the biggest he's going to be right about now. And then he'll start to lose weight. He just recently got his appetite back, kind of. In the middle of the winter, Dallas will eat about 45 pounds of fish in one single day, which is an incredible amount of fish. But when you want to bulk up that much, you need to eat a lot. So in the middle of the summer, though, when he's going through this rut and this change, he might only eat about five pounds of fish in one single day. So there's a huge difference in that. You gotta wait. As you can see, he's a little bit less than thrilled to get up that rock right now. Obviously, he's very big. But also, with his motivation being during this breeding season, we kind of got to take it one step at a time and ask him for other behaviors then. All of our training here is done using positive reinforcement, which means we want it to be a positive experience for our sea lions. If they don't want to do anything, we can always us all by at least 850 pounds, right? Right. So we can't force him. We don't want to force him. We want him to stay safe being around us, as well as enjoy being around us. So he does like to dance with us. We do rent him out for weddings. Anybody need a date? So at 1,000 pounds, when you saw those big front flippers of his, he kind of climbed up on the rock. He got himself up on that beach. He danced, he waved. He can also possibly do target jumps, but also again, his motivation. Oh, that was a good one. Not as bad of a splash as I thought I was going to get. Guys, if you're at the windows, can you please sit down so everybody behind you can see? Kids, can you guys sit down, please? You can go sit by the window. All the way down. Sit down. Dad. All right. <laughs> okay. We just had a question about why we're wearing the mask on our face. So all the different ways that we can protect ourselves as well as the animals, there's such a thing called zoonotic diseases. So there might be something we can transmit to them, there might be something they can transmit to us, or he might just cough and still have fish in his mouth. Which is gross. I've also gotten that sprayed on my glasses, or you get a little uh, squid tentacle shaking across your face. That is why we wear the mask. That's gross. I'm not into that kind of sushi. So we have the gloves, we have the mask, and then we have Dallas. Also, along with his care, our vet comes to visit him once a week, so that way he's not stranger danger in case Dallas were to get sick. Obviously, we want Dallas to have a positive experience, so the more stuff that he needs. So he's familiar with our vet. Also, another reason why we wear the mask, so we all look the same. Because obviously, if someone, we have an all-female staff, so if a guy comes in here with a beard or whatever, he looks he's like, I don't know you, and you are not a lady. So he's going to come in and look just like the rest of us wearing that mask, and it's going to be no big deal then for Dallas. We may have lost his motivation with that appetite there. Oh, and we're back. All right. We have a special request for another jump, which we were going to do anyways, because I do love the target jump. Everybody makes fun of me that I'm a stage mom, because he can't jump higher, he can't jump better. That was not one of those better, higher jumps, so he could very much do better. But again, as his How's your fish doing in there, Lynn? We're gonna try more jump. Who wants to try one more jump? Do we want a jump like that or do we want to try another jump? Yeah! Oh, looking good. Coming out. Yeah, it was better than the second 
why not give it the first? We'll give it to him now. Have a nice round of applause for that jump, though. Maybe we'll give him a wave goodbye or maybe a little talk there. Thank you all for being members. Thank you for putting up with my corny jokes. We hope to see you guys throughout the rest of the summer. It can only get better. Dale says appetite can only go up from here. And also then, keep an eye out too for when Jesse and Tony might be on an exhibit. Follow our social media pages. If you guys have any questions,